Aloha, welcome to all good things and all good time. This is my mama here next to me. She had a bunch of strokes and she had an infection that went through her body and it affected her brain and her internal organs. And she really doesn't have much time left according to the authorities. And so uh, she's, they're gonna keep her uh, as well as possible for a little while until everyone can visit her and then at her own request uh, they're gonna I guess the thing they do is uh, stop the feeding tube I guess and then and then after that it, they let her go uh, and it, anyway so that's what's happening um, my mom may have a week left uh, in this bed here. Um, and I just love her so much. And she's moving a little. She's responding a little. It's so great. Her eyes are closed. Uh, I don't think she can open them. But I kind of want to open them myself for her. I just don't know if that's polite or not. <laughs> I love your mama so much. She sometimes tries to talk in return. And uh, she, she has been moving a little and that may indicate that she can hear me. Uh, but it's pretty tough. It's a big hole, big hole. This is my mama. I love her so much. Everybody loves your mama. And this way my son can see this. I don't think my son will be making it here. But, uh, that's my mama. If I'm lucky, they'll be able to put her in a room tonight with nobody else. And I'll be able to stay here the whole night. So hopefully I can do that. Uh, anyway, thank you for <laughs> everything. <laughs> Thanks for all the love. The support has been so great. It's almost like it's a miracle that she waited until there were a whole bunch of people there for me instead of her. Oh. And I'm just about to turn, I turn 55 in a week on the 14th. And uh, that means I can live in her neighborhood without any negative uh, repercussions. So if I, if I, if I, if I'm, if I'm asked or allowed to, I could move in with her husband and help take care of him. He's 88. He's the sweetest man alive. Jimmy Pinkard, the best man ever lived. And, uh, uh, and he's just telling me this morning, you know, I'm starting to get really forgetful, you know, on that subject of being a caretaker. Because I would love to be a caretaker. My mom never needed it. She was perfect till a week ago. She was fully able-bodied, able to do everything for herself her whole life. Mind sharp as a tack. Probably still is in there. A memory like a freaking elephant. Oh, the, the, the knowledge being lost. Anyway, uh, it's... There's some small miracles in this story. And... And she lived long enough to give me her car or, you know, that, that, that is going to change my life. Having that incredible transportation forever. is just a, a certain type of stability that we can all enjoy when we have it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, and, you know, she really wanted me to meet a nice girl. 
and uh, and have that in my life. And it won't be long before that miracle comes along. Uh, I have a way of getting lucky, just when it seems like my chips are chips are down. <laughs> so uh, I have faith. You know, everything's gonna be okay. But, uh, and I'm so glad she lived this long. She never needed help from anybody. Oh, she just squeezed my hand a little. Oh, I love her so much. Anyway. <laughs> Thanks again. Love you guys. <laughs>